questions that Peter Strzok did not answer yesterday that Lisa Page did answer today. Republican Congressman Mark Meadows there, followed by Matt Gates on ex-FBI lawyer Lisa Page's closed-door testimony, which came one day after Republicans clashed with FBI agent Peter Strzok in that day-long public hearing. Let's bring in Peter Emerson, who's worked in three Democratic administrations, and Republican strategist Lauren Zelf, managing director of FP1 Strategies. With a welcome to you both, um, Lauren, to you first here. Um, let's take a listen to a few of the many contentious moments from Strzok's hearing. Here it is. I never prejudged anything, not in this case, not in any others. Impeachment Second, for what, Mr. Agent Strzok? Impeachment, Impeachment for what? When I see you looking there with a little smirk, how many times did you look so innocent into your wife's eye and lie to her about uh, Lisa? Mr. Uh, Chairman, uh, it's outrageous. Did Robert Mueller ever ask you if you were biased against Donald Trump? He did not. Did he, so he didn't ask you when he hired you? No, that, that question is not that, typically that a question that, that, that gets asked during hiring meetings in the U.S. Gosh. government. What do you think this buys Republicans, if anything? I mean, is this just political theater, or is there some sort of advantage to staging these lines of attack? That uh, this hearing was such good political theater, I think, is a sad um, reality check on the state of our politics right now. I mean, look, I think what the Republican congressmen were trying to do was express the outrage that I think a lot of people on the right do feel about those text messages between Mr. Strzok and Ms. Page. Um, that said, though, I don't think anyone did themselves any favors in this hearing. Um, I would have liked to have seen a little bit more of an earnest attitude from Mr. Strzok because I, I do think for those of us that were paying attention and watching it, it did kind of feel like he wasn't taking it very seriously. And I just wish I had seen a little bit more of an earnest effort to get to the bottom of, you know, the entire um, question at hand here on both sides. Um, I think the Republican congressmen, um, some of them were engaged in political theater to, to help to pe appease their base. And I, I do wish that, um, you know, Mr. Strzok had taken it just a little bit more seriously. Um, I just don't think anyone did themselves any mm. favors. Yeah. What do you think, Peter, in terms of Lisa Page, who's uh, scheduled to continue her closed-door testimony on, on Monday, what do you make of the fact that you had Meadows and Gates, Republicans in that... Uh, closed door testimony, reacting much more favorably to her testimony than struck so far. Because we don't know what her testimony was. And it wasn't a media circus. I'm still confused about what is the question at hand that the committee's looking for, other than to absolutely to try to destroy the Mueller investigation, which is now 12 indictments of Russian intelligence officers that hacked and influenced the United States election. This is a national security issue. This isn't an issue about infidelity or about intent. There is now indictments against 12 uh, members of the Russian intelligence community. Yeah, add that to another 20 have been invited. There are five guilty pleas. There are two that have been jailed. So one of the more notable exchanges, Lauren, from Strzok's hearing was um, the clash between Republicans and Democrats when Congressman Gohmert referenced Strzok's infidelity. We played a little bit of that. Did he cross the line here making this personal? Well, it's always good to separate your professional life from uh, your uh, personal life. Um, you know, I, I don't know if he crossed the line or not. I mean, I, I think that we have to consider all the factors involved here. But to me, the most important thing, and I happen to agree with Peter on this, I mean, this is a matter of national security. All Americans should be outraged by the fact that Russia meddled in our election. I mean, I, it, it shouldn't matter what party you are. Um, this is the core of our democracy, and that we have a country that is led by a former um, KGB operative. Meddling in our democracy is a very serious thing, and I just wish everyone would take it a little bit more seriously on both sides of the aisle. H how about this, Peter, from the Democrats' perspective? Did some of them go too far with their shows of support for Strzok? I mean, because there were those that were applauding him during the hearing. Well, if I may make the point, too, that those indictments that came down this week also now suggest there were Americans. In talking to the intel communities, um, contacts I have, they know the Russians couldn't have accomplished what they did without American involvement. So that underscores everything. In terms of the Democrats, this is such a political show, although I will say there is no question that lines of just propriety were crossed, were crossed dramatically, as it was said of one Joe McCarthy, have you no shame? Mm. All right, guys, uh, the conversation is too brief today, for which I apologize. But Lauren and Peter, I'm very glad to see you nonetheless. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. New protests in Britain. The baby balloon turns up in Scotland while demonstrators gather at the president's golf.